Satan. Satan, also known as Iron Mouse, is a virtual YouTuber and streamer. From what was that? Hi, honey. Satan. <laughs> when did I say hi, honey? Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Hi, honey. <laughs> hi, honey. Satan, <laughs> also known as Iron Mouse, is a virtual YouTuber and streamer from Puerto Rico. She is known for her over-the-top antics, unhinged sailor mouth, simping for Sea Dog, talented singing ah! voice, and being an overall entertaining and enjoyable personality to watch. Fun fact: Jules Iron worked on Cadence of Hyrule. Many for an incredible. Oh, cool! Amount of reasons, and it's no surprise as to why she's grown as large of a family as she has. Aww. From her charity events, paying off her family's home, the way she interacts with others, and her overwhelming love for her precious family, it is very easy. This was a year ago. Holy shit! Easy to fall into binge watching her videos and streams for hours on end. So today, we're going to be making Iron Mouse into a Dungeons and Dragons monster. Before we get into the specific details about her stat block, it is important to know that I have built this off the idea that it could be actually run in a real game of Dungeons and Dragons. I Otherwise, I could game? have made her the most brutal, ridiculous, over-the-top, gemotic entity that ever existed. And it would be accurate to her character, of course. However, in the interest of a more balanced and fun encounter, let's take a look at this stat block and her model a little later on. Mouse is a medium-sized creature with an armor class of 16 and 42 hit points. Oh my god, I'm in your games! I'm in your games, guys! Standard 30 feet of movement, plus an additional 15 feet of flying speed. Considering Mouse's character models have never looked physically menacing, unlike another V Shoujo member, <laughs> a 16 and a 42 felt appropriate for a demonic glass cannon spellcaster with a familiar that we will get to later on. Plus, in a few of her models, she's had a pair of wings, but considering we don't know the full capabilities of these wings, 15 feet felt like a good compromise. She has a strength of 7, dexterity of 12, constitution of 9, intelligence of 15, wisdom 14, and charisma of 19. Wow. Prisma is very much Mouse's strong side, so she's also got a plus six in that area for her saving throw. I'm a nice, sweet, a nice, sweet, calm, normal, uh, uh, loving, da -da 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 girl. Her skills include <laughs> Intimidation what? of 8, In Medicine of 4, Perception of 4, and a Performance of 8, Resistance to Fire and Radiant Damage, and a Dark Vision of 90 feet. Mouse Whoa. is fairly versed in language, so I felt it appropriate to give her these four, and again with her being a pretty big deal. We're gonna talk Celestial, Elvish, Infernal, Sylvan? Demons, why not toss in a little telepathy? Now, Thanks. as a spellcaster, Mouse has the following spells prepared and can cast them without components or a focus. She's also resilient against spells and other magical effects. Now, Thanks. here's where the fun really begins. Mouse's AC and health may not be that high, but oh Aww. boy, does she make up for it with her abilities and actions. Her first ability is Hellstride. Mouse can use her action to step into any of the nine realms of hell. She returns on her next turn, however, giving her a chance to avoid an oncoming attack or to just go home and grab a snack. She can also summon her familiar, Booby. Welcome, welcome. You might know me by many names, though. Um, perhaps Booby, 12-inch king? What does 12-inch king mean? I think you're aware of what it means. No, I'm not aware. Really? Well, I am not aware. <laughs> well, I'm 12 inches of height. Oh, I see. <laughs> Now, Booby <laughs> can act on his own apart from Mouse, but he'll likely just do as she asks. For DMs actually wanting to run this in a game, I'd recommend using Booby as a Find Familiar equivalent, but the choice is yours on how to run it. Moving on to her actions, Mouse carries a magical item known as the Staff of the Voice. It's a wondrous Ooh. item that requires attunement by a spellcaster, and once attuned, any spells cast that require a verbal component can be done so at advantage if the staff is used as a microphone. If a spell cast this way requires a saving throw to be made by the target, it does so at disadvantage. She can also just whack people with it if she'd like to use Petal Pummel, doing a decent amount of damage. Her second cool. last ability is Devilish Charm. It's a bit lengthy, but essentially she can charm creatures into becoming a member of her precious family and fight on her behalf. She can only have two humanoids and three beasts charmed at a time, though. Ooh! Ha <laughs> It's far deeper than you themselves! Again, this is in honor of a fair fight, otherwise this number would be considerably higher. And lastly, Song of Satan. Mouse grabs her microphone and sings a melody that can be heard up to 400 feet away. Creatures Ooh! amazed by the song must move towards Mouse as they are encapsulated by the music. There are ways to get out of it, of course, that you can see, but it's a fun way to bring targets closer to her in order to get in range of any charmed creature she has or Booby if he's been summoned. Speaking of which, let's take a look at Mouse and Booby as a model. I am limited a bit in what I can and can't include in building 
Mew oh! models, but overall, I think they capture both Iron Mouse and Booby in a fairly close likeness. Mouse has the staff of the voice along with a cool flower arrangement so spiraling cool! out of her palm, while Booby has a more terrifying spell effect coming for his enemy of choice. Now, in the event that you decide to run this encounter, I'd recommend keeping Mouse in the back line and attempt to get some creatures and or beasts under her wing in any of her tempting ways. Satan can be a formidable foe, but she can also be warm, encouraging, pleasant, and one fuck of a tough tungsten rat. If you'd like a copy of this stat block and a link to the model, they can be found in my Patreon linked on screen and down below in the description. Whoa! As a final word, I'd like to briefly share a quote from Mouse herself. Don't ever give up. <laughs> Try to believe in yourself. Shit might be bad. It might be scary. It might be painful. But all that will be tools in your magical book bag to help you while you climb that fucking mountain. <laughs> Fuck that mountain. Thank you, Mouse. <laughs> I wish you all the best for your future. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm seeing this a year later. I, I'm sorry, I didn't see this earlier. Ah, you're making me, you're making me cry. <laughs> That was amazing! Thank you! Thank you, Wingless Valkyrie! Holy shit! I don't know what you're up to now or if you're still here, but thank you! That was so sweet! Ah! I remember when I said that too! Fuck! <coughs> oh yeah! Fuck that mountain! <clears throat> ah! Making me cry, I'll never forgive you. <laughs> I'll never forgive you! You're making me cry! I'll never forgive you.